Good morning. Today we will be learning about hard skills and soft skills. First of all, I have word strips that we pass out to the students and the students will bring them up to the board and put them on the board with a piece of tape either under the heading of hard skill or soft skill. After the students do this, we will then go over this PowerPoint and talk about hard and soft skills. Earning a degree is a hard skill. Hard skills are technical or academic oriented, easy to define, measurable by tests, directly taught in schools. Examples are Associate of Science degree, able to type 50 words per minute, certified welder, CDL license holder, high school graduate, or 10 years of clerical experience. These are all examples of hard skills. Teaching this to the class, of course, I'll have the students ask question or answer questions about what these skills mean, what makes them a measurable test, what does it mean to be able to type 50 words per minute, why is that a hard skill, what is a CDL license, and what does that give you certification to be able to do. All of these questions will be answered by the students. Examples of soft skills are good listener, effective communication skills, dependable, neat, friendly, organized, prompt, fair, and hard worker. These are all questions that will be answered as we move forward in our lesson. Students will be able to talk, we will talk about effective communication skills why dependability, being neat and friendly, organized, prompt and fair, and hardworking are important skills when looking for a job or when holding down employment. I will also have the students read the PowerPoints. Communication skills or soft skills are and are very important skills to have. Communication skills is the, are the keys to success. The top six soft skills are communication, enthusiasm and attitude, teamwork, networking, problem solving and critical thinking, and professionalism. Networking is a very important skill to have so that you can network with other people to be able to create a better, more knowledge. Um, this is, networking is a word that students at Spanish Fort Junior High did not know well and did not understand the concept of and we um, definitely that is one thing that we talked quite a bit about and that the students um, were able to grasp the concept by the end of our lesson. Soft skill number one is communication. There's all different kinds of communication. Verbal communication, nonverbal communication, written communication, and visual communication. We will talk about all of these different kinds of communication. Verbal communication can include interpersonal communication, public speaking, telephone etiquette, listening comprehension. We did talk quite a bit about telephone etiquette and how the students use their cell phones and how they speak with their parents or with friends, what the different kinds of communication they would use and what, why telephone etiquette is so important. Nonverbal communication, facial expressions, body language, posture. We talked about interviewing and why 
body language and posture is so important when doing a job interview. Written communication, email, text messages, letters, and reports. These are all very vital communication techniques. Um, text messaging can, we talked a lot about that um, with the students about text messaging, making sure that our texts are appropriate and that if you wouldn't say it to a person's face, you shouldn't be texting it. Um, Nonverbal communication, facial expression, visual communication, uh, the way we dress, personal hygiene, why personal hygiene is so important, especially when we are in the workplace, and how that reflects upon our peers and the other people that we work with, why those things are so very, very important. Displaying enthusiasm and positive attitude, the ability to lead, these are all very important skills to have to be able to communicate well and show leadership roles um, as an employee and be able to uh, team people together and have a positive attitude. It shows um, in your demeanor as you work with your clients or people that you work with. Soft skill number four, networking. Networking is so important. We talk a lot about that. Um, the students didn't understand what networking was, so we had a very good conversation about how networking helps the person um, in the position of needing help, uh, good networking. We talked about friends and how having a network of friends gives you the opportunity to um, to know other people that have other skills besides the skills that we that individual has it's bringing all of those skills together to be able to work as a team um, one student had the idea of sharing her her, her father um, she said that her father has a network of people that he is able to call when any situation comes up, um, whatever need their family or his business may have, he has a network of people that he can call that have skills that he is able to use and um, we talked a lot about that. Different students had different ideas and we rounded them all together to make a, um, to help them to understand what networking is and how vital it is to have good communication skills and be able to build bridges and of communication with other people to help us to succeed in our lives. After doing this, we once again um, went over the hard skills and soft skills. Um, we went to the board and had students um, rearrange the words underneath the either the hard skills or soft skills categories and put those um, word strips uh, in correct order now that they have been taught the information and help them to understand um, whether that is a hard skill or a soft skill and why both are very important to have in the work um, environment. Um, we also, after talking about the different skills, um, we talked about the importance of the communication skills and, um, and then we had a, have a worksheet that the students fill out about um, interpersonal skills, public speaking, telephone etiquette, listening comprehension, all encompassed into a worksheet that was, had questions about um, those students and how they would communicate with, either with their parents in a certain situation or a friend or, um, or a family member. Um, 
how how that communication would be different between each of those people um, if they had something that came up that was important to them um, how they would communicate that with different groups of people and what makes that an important um, skill for them to have uh, I went around to each group of students and asked them uh, about their the scenarios and how that um, communication was why that communication was important and how it was different uh, between st students, peers, um, family, and the workplace. Each student was responsible for filling out that paper and turning it in to the teacher at the end of the class period. Um, each student was given the opportunity to share their answers with the other students. Um, in a way that would help them to be able to better understand communication skills and why those skills are important and the differences between having them um, with different groups of people.